Hello, Mr. V here. In this demonstration, we will exercise hand typography to create a fortune cookie message. Second, we will create a fortune cookie to deliver the message to someone special. The materials we'll need for this project are a paper and pencil, Play-Doh, flour, a rolling pin, a cup, this one has a three and a half inch diameter circle, an extra container for extra Play-Doh, and some cut up cardstock. The first step is to research type styles. Along with the cookie made from Play-Doh, from paper you will be creating a handwritten fortune message for inside the cookie. Use the internet to research different type styles. Find a few you like and might recreate by hand. Step two is to research messages you might use for the fortune. Use the web to find a message you would like for the fortune or just to generate ideas for your own unique message. Because we will be handwriting this, it might be wise to keep the length of the fortune from a few words to a sentence in length. Step three is to practice writing your message. In a serif or sans serif typeface, practice writing your message a few times. Remember to go slowly and carefully and to practice writing small as it will need to fit on a small piece of paper. Step four is to create the fortune message insert. It begins by cutting the paper to length and width. For this example, we will cut the paper to two and three quarter inches in length and one half inch in width. Go slowly recreating the fortune message insert. This is the message you practiced and should be written small and neat. You may choose to write the name of the receiver on the end to more easily identify who your cookie will be delivered to once finished. If necessary, take multiple attempts to create the perfect fortune message insert. Step 5 is making the cookie and includes a series of smaller steps. First, Gather one half ounce of Play-Doh. Distribute flour over a flat surface. Make sure and use enough flour so that the cookie will not stick to the surface. Roll out the Play-Doh evenly, going slowly to flatten the dough to a thickness of about 1 16th of an inch. Use the cup as a cookie cutter to separate a circle from the rolled dough. Place any extra dough in a container so that it might be used later. Flip the flattened Play-Doh over so that the flour side is facing up. This will hide the flour inside the cookie leaving the less floured side outside for presentation. Gently fold the circle in half. Press the farthest edges together just enough to stick the edges slightly. Even though folded, most of the circle should remain open. Insert your message into the open space of the half circle. Gently press the cookie in the center to create a fold.
place an identification tent over your cookie for later ease of identification. The identification tent should include your first and last name, block or period, and the day and time created. Place the cookie in the designated location for drying. Your fortune cookie will be dry and ready to deliver in three to four days.